Hi, Sam Homewood here. First thing, let's talk about this. I haven't shaved my head, have you? I know David Beckham has. If you can, avoid shaving your head. It'll be a mad look in the summer when everyone's got shaved heads. It'll be really weird. Right, let's get started. Firstly, I should tell you that I have been at home now for a few weeks with my amazing wife, who is a primary school teacher. So I have been living constantly, 24 seven now, with a teacher. So I know just how hard they're working and how much they miss having you in their classrooms and being like normal and having everybody about and seeing your little smiling faces. So I can tell you that one, the teachers miss you and two, they're doing a really good job and they're still working really hard. So well done to all of the teachers. And secondly, well done to all of the substitute teachers, the mums and the dads and the guardians who are trying to do lessons now, because let's face it, they're doing their best, aren't they? It's not the same, but they're doing their best and that's what counts. Okay, so we're all stuck at home. Hopefully everybody's staying very safe and we need some entertainment and some stuff to do. So I'm gonna give you some recommendations. This is my advice. Number one, my favorite cartoon, my favorite TV program really of all time is The Simpsons. I'm talking specifically about the first 10 series and they are absolutely brilliant and they are as good as any piece of artwork in any museum. Sure, the Mona Lisa probably looks exactly like Mona Lisa. I've never met her, so I don't really know. And yeah, look at it and go like, yeah, it does, yeah, sure, it looks like probably what Mona Lisa looked like. But The Simpsons is hilarious. So like there's an episode, Last Exit to Springfield, that could be in a museum. It's just as good as any piece of artwork because the point of art is that it's emotive and it makes you feel something. And The Simpsons in those early episodes are capable of making you feel desperate and hopeful and they're hilarious and they're sad and they're joyful and they're melancholic. And that is what art is. It's, it's a way of showing the world back to us and making us feel something about it. And I think if, if you watch those first episodes of The Simpsons, you'll understand what I'm talking about because they are genuinely brilliant, but also they're really funny and funny is good. Number two. Gaming, we're all stuck inside. We can play some games, that's absolutely fine. Can't always be Monopoly. Sometimes it'll be electric, and if it is, FIFA. I'm a huge football fan, and there's absolutely no football on at the moment. So it doesn't get much better than having a game of FIFA. In fact, I'm a bit lucky because I get to work for Manchester United. So the other day I had a FaceTime with Paul Pogba and Jesse Lingard, and you can watch that. They put that on their website and stuff. And uh, I also make the official podcast, so I get to sit down and chat with some of the players and the past players, and you can listen to all of those in your usual podcast places. They're really fun and they tell some really good stories, especially right now when there isn't actually any football to watch. It's a nightmare. Love watching football. Can get in the garden if you've got one, even if you haven't got a ball, just a load of socks. That's how Cristiano Ronaldo learned to do keepy uppies. That's true, with socks. Crazy, isn't it? Number three. So this is my favorite character of all time from anything and it's Woody from Toy Story. And you might think, why? But I'm gonna tell you. Because lots of films and lots of TV programs have characters who are just good, like absolutely perfect. Like Superman, for example, boring. He's just perfect. Everything he does is great all the time. He's not like a real person. Real people aren't actually perfect 100% all of the time. Woody starts off in the first Toy Story movie as a guy devoted to Andy and he loves all the other toys. He also likes being the leader of the toys because that's kind of the role he's got and he loves it. I mean, he's literally the sheriff. But then when Buzz comes along, he gets kicked out of Andy's bed, he's no longer the favorite. And for a little bit, Woody becomes the bad guy of his own story because he gets jealous and he gets upset. But by the end, he remembers that all that matters to him actually is how happy Andy is. And he makes a new best friend in Buzz and everybody else settles into their new roles. And that happens. Like at school, you might be the best at football. And then someone new comes along and they might be better than you are. And you have to learn to live with that situation. You can't go crazy and throw them out of a window like Woody does with Buzz. But that's the point is it's real and he goes on a real story. And I think a lot of us can understand that and I certainly do, which is why I love Woody. Because ultimately he's just devoted to his friends and he's devoted to Andy and he's a great guy. And also, I think he looks a little bit like me. That's just my thought. Which leads nicely into my favorite film of all time. If this was at Christmas, I'd be saying my favorite film was The Muppets Christmas Carol, but it's not Christmas, so it's not really appropriate to pick a Christmas film. So I'm gonna pick my other favorite film, which is Toy Story. It's absolutely brilliant. The storytelling is amazing. And I was, well, I'm old enough now to have watched it when it came out in the cinema back in 1994. And it was mind blown because it was the first full film that was made by Pixar with like computer animation. There weren't any others, not like now where there's loads and it is brilliant. But if I'm gonna recommend one, if you haven't seen them and you've been living under a rock and you're just gonna watch one, go for Toy Story 3. It's a great story. The graphics and stuff have improved. So it's a bit more exciting. Go for Toy Story 3, absolutely brilliant. Loads of fun and a really good bad guy in Lotso. Oh, that guy, I can't stand that guy. Also, Toy Story 4, still good. Toy Story 2, brilliant.
absolutely brilliant. They're all good, you can't go wrong. So those are my recommendations for things to do whilst you're in isolation. Basically, be safe, love each other, have a nice time, try and enjoy it. It's all a bit weird, but we'll all come through it together and it'll be all right in the end, I promise.